And welcome to Nancy's Neighborhood, folks. It's good to be back with you again. And I'm going to start off just a little bit by telling you that the Red Ribbon, which is my gift shop at 270 Central Avenue, is having a 50% off sale on all of our winter wear and accessories. And this cape I have on is 50% off, and it's really, really neat. I don't normally wear black, folks, because it's really not my color to wear, but this is, this is kind of a longer, uh, comes down about, about your knees, and it's really, really nice. I'm taking it off now because the sun is shining into Nancy's neighborhood. But we also have scarves that are 50% off, and I have like the white one, and I got my microphone hung up in it, and Bryce is gonna fuss at me. And then I have others. This one would have gone well with what I had on with the black and gold and gray and white. So all of the winter accessories are 50% off, folks. So come by and see me. Now, let me tell you about some things that are happening. First of all, I wanna say congratulations to the Bradley Barretts. I mean, finishing a perfect season without a loss. That's wonderful. I mean, a perfect season. That is super. Now, we have district play, and we have regional play, and we have state play, so let's just all cheer them on, and let's, let's hope they'll bring back a state championship. I'm so proud of you gals and of the coaches and you parents that have to been there, done that, folks, so I know what it takes if you have an athlete in the family. I wasn't a parent of an athlete, but I was an athlete, so I know what what my mom went through to be sure I got to practice and everything I was supposed to do. So, so I'm proud of all of y'all and that's great. And also I want to say congratulations to Ben Murphy. Ben's a graduate of Cleveland High School, went on to the University of Tennessee, and he has a movie out that's, that's here in Cleveland if y'all need to go see it. It's the Lego Batman movie. He's the assistant director of the, on that. If you look at the screens, the credits, when it rolls by, you'll see Ben Murphy's name up there. So we're really proud of Ben. He and his brother Scott have gone out to California. They're both making a name for themselves in the movie industry. So I think this is great. So if, if you go see the Lego Batman, look for Ben's name on the screen. All right, there's a lot going on at the library this month. I'm not going to try to read it all off to you. I'm just going to tell you to go to their Facebook page or their website at clevelandlibrary.org. And remember, this is Loving My Library Month at the library. Um, Love's Labor's Lost, which is a Shakespeare comedy, is going to be presented by, it's already been going on for a weekend, folks. This is the last weekend of it coming up, February 16th through the 18th. Tickets are $10 for adults and $7 for children. Now, what they ask is, don't bring children under 12. It needs to be a child that's going to understand a little bit of Shakespeare, even if it is a Shakespeare comedy. And so you can go to theater, T-H-E-A-T-R-E, -E, at leeuniversity.edu, and I find out about tickets. $10 for adults, $7 for children. The Rotary Club of Cleveland is going to have a night at the Oscars Annual Foundation Fundraiser, Friday the 17th. You can contact Tanya Mazzolini at 284-9111 for more information. They may have already sold all their tickets. I don't know, but it's I, I have gone to those in the past. They've been great fun. It's been good food. Uh, it's a great fundraiser for all the projects that they do. In fact, a friend of mine, uh, Jackie Johnson, her husband, Dr. Phil Johnson, Sally Poston, those are all friends of mine, are right now in Honduras putting in a clean water plant for the people in a small community down there, and that is being funded by the Rotary Club through their foundation, which is great. Now, for all you sports enthusiasts that want to play baseball or softball this summer, the Bradley County Parks and Rec Spring Sports Registration for Boys Baseball and Girls Softball, I know, that's one of those sexist things, I guess. It's happening right now, and you register online at www.bradleyparks.com. Uh, before February the 18th, or you can go in person on Saturday the 18th from 10 to 2 at the Bradley County Parks, which is off Stewart Road behind the YMCA. You can get the, the cost, the different age groups, and other information, and they're available at that website. And also, they need umpires for these ball games, and it says in the advertisement, good seasonal pay. So if you're interested or qualified in being an up, 728-7035. I, I could embarrass somebody that's at Walker Valley right now playing football by saying that I went one time to the Super Bowl of the Parks and Rec football Super Bowl, and this person was probably, I don't think they were eight years old yet. Anyway, their helmets were really bigger than they were, but it was, it was such a fun experience, and the kids out on the football field seemed to love it, and uh, I'm not really sure 
how we scored or anything like that, but, but it was a fun day. So if you want to get your children involved in sports, this through the Bradley Parks and Rec program is a great way to do it. So then this Saturday also on the 18th is a mother-son extravaganza and is sponsored by Family Cornerstone, formerly BIC, and it's going to be held at the Keith Street Ministries at 4000 Keith Street. That's the church that's next door to Logan's. Uh, it's for mothers and sons of all ages from toddlers to teens. $5 entry fee. There's a lot of games, a lot of fun, a lot of food. So you might want to do this. You can call Chrissy Pugh, and we've had Chrissy on with us lately, 559-1112. Or you can go to their website at www.familycornerstones.org. Uh, to find out more information about that. The SPCA is having a special um, adoption during the month of February, special prices. Um, the SPCA is located at 1570 Johnson Boulevard, open Tuesday and Saturday from noon until 5 o'clock. So if you're thinking about getting a dog or a cat, because uh, they do have cats there too, you might want to go check them out. The ACS Bass Tournament is this Saturday, February the 18th. Lots happening on the 18th. At 58 Sportsman's Boat Ramp on Highway 58. Registration starts at 5.30 a.m., folks. I won't be there, okay? And there'll be a blast off in order of registration. That'll be at 7 a.m. The weigh-ins are scheduled at 3 p.m. There's, there's payouts on, on the, the weight of the bass, uh, but... That depends on how many boats are in there. So more information, you can call Jeff at 423-368-4098 or Joey at 423-506-7993. And then the Presidential Series at Lee University will, fe will feature Gloria Chen and Ming Ah in concert on the 21st at Pangle Hall at 730. And then Lee University was recently awarded a literary arts touring grant from South Arts to host a Pulitzer Prize author, we'd like to hope Ken gets there one of these days, Robert Olin Butlett for the festival, Winter, the Writers Festival. He'll be there on February 23rd at 7 p.m. in the Rose Lecture Hall on Helen, in the Helen DeVos College of Education. The reading is free and it's open to the public and then there'll be a follow-up with a reception and a book signing. And at the book signings, of course, you buy the book and then the author will sign it for you. Uh, the uh, Okoe Theater Guild is having their comedy the 17th and 18th. Here again, this weekend, this coming weekend's packed, folks. It's 7.30. It's at the Creekside, the venue Creekside. And Jay told me the other day that it's, it's I greater than 3U. And, and, it may, and the way you read it is I less than 3U. But Jay told me if you do the greater than sign next to a 3, it makes a heart so so anyway I don't know exactly what this is about but for more information 462-8896 and that's the old village theater down at the village mall and the Truesdale school will be hosting their from my perspective which is an ex exhibit for artists uh, it's going to be featuring artists with disabilities so 479-7130 or Sarah Bradley at sbradley at truesdaleschool.org and I have a lot of other things to tell you but my producer up there is giving me this sign which means wrap it up Nancy so I have two guests that I want to introduce you to today so please don't go away stay with us and we'll be right back with our two guests don't go away we'll be right back 